Hello everyone, welcome to Pumpkin Horror. Now today we're going to be doing this particular figure, which I will tell you a story about this. This is based on the Return of the Living Dead. It is a character that is not in the movies at all, but he is part of the poster art. It is Suicide, and I do have a mask based on Suicide. It is called the Trash Zombie, according to uh, uh, Trick or Treat Studios. Uh, but these particular figures, I accidentally must have ordered two of them on Big Bad Toy Store and end up getting two of them, which is okay because they run around $20 a piece. As you can, we'll see, I'm going to pull one of them out of the package and leave the other one in the package. Uh, we're going to get a close-up look of uh, Suicide, which I think is very cool. Now, I don't know what that is, but we're going to figure it out when we pull it out of the package, okay? But anyway, let's get into this particular uh, character, okay? I'll be right back. Hello and welcome back. Now I did previously do a video clip based on this particular figure, uh, but there was some discrepancies the way the way I handled it. I was reading it off rather certain part of the uh, actual uh, label. I was calling it perfection uh, pictures when it's actually reflection pictures. So that was a mistake. So I had to kind of start over because of that, and the actual. Uh, little piece that comes with a little accessory which looks like uh, guts it's the intestines of the zombie I kind of stuffed it up in there and I'm going to show you what it looks like uh, whether it's in right or not I don't know I haven't seen pictures of it but anyway let's just go ahead and take a look at this particular figure and then we'll move on to the uh, actual uh, trash not trash I keep saying trash but the actual mohawk zombie mask that I got from trick-or-treat studios that thing is absolutely badass. If you want a much more in-depth uh, review on that particular mask, it is sitting on this channel. You just got to look it up, okay? But it's out there, okay? But anyway, let's go ahead and take a look at Mr. Uh, suicide. Here. They call him Suicide because he's in the beginning part of the movie, which is another thing. I did make a mistake because I got a little confused with the whole entire situation. I was thinking he's basically on the poster art, uh, and I said he wasn't even part of the movie, and I was wrong about that, uh, which in fact he was. He's actually in the beginning of the movie. He's the one that drives a Cadillac, and he's the one with the fashion statement. He said, this is a statement. This is, you know. And meanwhile, Trash is uh, kind of grabbing his package and saying, yeah, yeah, yeah. And she's like, get off me. This is a statement, blah, blah, blah. But anyway, he meets his demise with the um, actual tar man that comes out of the canister. And it's a horrible death. But the question to me is, what happened to him after he got his brains eaten? Hmm? Did he turn into this guy that we didn't know about it? Maybe they need to do another movie based on suicide. Okay? Suicide and trash. It would be just like Titanic. <laughs> the love triangle. No, I'm, I'm just messing around. But anyway, let's get into this. All right. This is suicide. Uh, obviously, he's got the Mohawk. Okay? He's got his chains. Now, in the poster art, you will notice that um, it has around his neck is like a necklace. In the movie, he's wearing kind of like a, not spiked, but it was more like a chain gear type necklace. Uh, and in the actual poster art, they changed it up concept wise. Uh, he has like spears or, you know, kind of like jagged, almost like bone type teeth type. Um, well, you take a look at the picture, you know what I'm talking about. It's kind of hard to describe it, but anyway, it is the same character, okay? Hi, my name is Suicide. <laughs> he is one of the coolest one, the coolest concepts about that movie, and he only played a small part in the movie, and I believe that man passed away from cancer, or something happened to him, uh, yeah, but he did pass away, so yeah, may he rest in peace. So let's get a look at the button, the legs. The very skinny legs. Now, what's surprising about this figure is it's not flimsy like I thought it would be. It does have a certain amount of stiffness that allows you to let it stand. Okay. The feet are very cool. Okay. The bottom of it has holes so you can actually put this on a stand, a NECA stand, and it would look great. You know? But because it stands on its own, I'm not going to necessarily do that. It is a very small figure. If it keeps toppling over, then obviously I would, okay? Now, let's get into the articulation. Obviously, 
the arms do move up and down okay not at the elbows not at the hands it's all stiff in the arms okay this is roughly around maybe three inches tall it's about the same size as a NECA figure based on uh, Chucky right? and as you can see he's got an open cavern because of his guts now there was that one piece here I think I already mentioned it uh, I couldn't figure out what it was I'm thinking it's the guts that hang out of his uh, belly so that's most likely what that is now articulation wise in the legs as you can see, they got a little bit of joints there, but they don't bend. All right, so don't force it because you will snap these things. And they do move at the hips, okay? All right. So there is that point of artic articulation, along with the arms. They move up and down. The rest of the arms and the legs don't have articulation. The feet don't even have articulation because it's a small figure. The head, okay. It does move side to side, okay. So that has articulation in it. Alright, so let's put this one down and grab this one here. I did say uh, I was um, not actually going to pull it out of his package, but guess what? I pulled it out of his package. As you can see, the guts are in there. Now, whether they're in there correctly, I don't know. But I just kind of pushed it in there. I was like, oh, okay, maybe that's what that is. I could be wrong about that. If you guys know what this is, let me know in the comment section below. Uh, I'm pretty sure I'm thinking it's the guts and stuff like that. It's just hanging out. All right. But anyway, this is the other figure. Now, I accidentally must have ordered these twice and didn't know it. And when they came in, I was like, oh, I got two of them. Figuring one of them was the trash zombie. No, that doesn't come out for a while yet. So I got to wait for that one to come in. When that does come in, we'll do a video on that as well. Okay. And I'll also touch base on the uh, trash zombie mask that I got back there. And we'll do the same thing as we did with this guy here. Okay. This is known as the Mohawk Zombie, according to Trick or Treat Studios. Also, Suicide in this case. It is the poster art version of Suicide, so keep that in mind. Alright, again, holes on the bottom, okay. It's very cool. Alright, what we're going to do is we're going to actually move on. Now that's cool right there, too. It's got ribs showing and everything. We're going to move on to the actual... Um, uh, suicide or the Mohawk zombie mask, okay? I'll see you in a bit. Okay, we're back and I was trying to actually figure out the actual uh, discrepancies in these. It is in fact the very same character that you're seeing here, alright, as compared to this guy here. And if you notice in the neck there, I don't know if you can actually see it, he does have like a spike collar. So it is in fact this guy here, okay? But his Mohawk is much more pronounced. So, being that he actually died in the movie, maybe, I don't know, he went through a certain kind of growth or something, uh, when it comes to the hair and stuff. Uh, but you don't notice on the zombie mask here, that there is any bite marks on top, unless it's covered up by the mohawk, because I believe he actually uh, bit down on him on the very top of his head, so it's possible it could have been covered up by the mohawk, okay? But anyway, this is in fact the very same uh, character. It is Suicide. And they also call him uh, the Mohawk Zombie, according to uh, Trick or Treat Studios. So I'm sorry about the confusion, okay? But anyway, it is in fact the same character, okay? So yeah, that's in according to the poster art too as well, okay? But anyway, I'm going to end this here. As you guys already know, okay? It made it for an interesting video. Because it did, you know, confuse me a bit with the bite marks and stuff. I don't see it unless it's under the Mohawk. That's possible, okay. But I believe he did bite him right on top of his head. So yeah, it's possible it got covered up. Now one thing about this mask here, and I said this in my other video, is the fact that the actual Mohawk needs to be stuffed with some kind of paper or something. Or otherwise the actual Mohawk will collapse on you if you don't keep it full. So that's one of the reasons why I did what I did with that. And that's pretty much it in a nutshell. I'm going to go ahead and stop this right here. Don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell. As when the actual um, trash zombie comes in, I'm going to show you that. And I'm going to bring her mask out. And we're going to do the same thing with that one too, okay? Uh, but in the meantime, I've been collecting Return of the Living Dead stuff as it's been coming out. Now, I do have another set of four Toonie Terrors coming out that has the Tar Man in it. And that's the main reason why I picked it up is because of the Tar Man. Because I've always wanted a Tar Man. Now, Trick or Treat Studios did do a, I think, 112 scale 
of the Tarman, but it's like 160 bucks for that figure. Can't afford that. I would love to get a hold of that because Tarman is the coolest factor or the coolest thing. That and Suicide are the coolest things about the Return of the Living Dead in my opinion, okay? Uh, but unfortunately, that one's a little too pricey for me for right now, unless they drop in price, but it's highly unlikely. Anyway, I'm going to um, let you go right here. Don't forget to actually uh, like and subscribe and hit that notification bell. And I will be bringing out some more videos once stuff starts coming in. In the meantime, you have yourselves a good day.